Pisces, thank you so much for tuning in. Love and light to you here. This is your September reading. It will roughly span the time frame between the 1st to the 31st of the month of September. Um, dear Pisces, uh, thank you so much for your patience with this reading. It's been absolutely crazy here with the season of eclipses, the Mercury retrograde period, Mars retrograde period, um, so on and so forth, and just leading into the full moon in Pisces and your very own sign. Um, so thank you so very much again for your patience and let's get right on with your reading here dear Pisces I was meditating on your energy before I turned on the camera and I was hearing for you um, a number of things one practice makes perfect and I was um, sort of setting down the main stack of cards and at the very base there was the Sun of Pentacles there may be a focus on matters that are related to uh, I'm hearing specifically family family life um, I'm getting as well related to, let's say, matters of career. So however it, is that it does resonate with you, Pisces, there may be a focus on what you may also be releasing. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, and I was hearing release, release, release as well, the Four of Cups um, in reverse, and I'm hearing the storyline uh, there may be a focus on the past, what has felt to be, it's almost like, well, hold on a second, I, I'm, I'm seeing you like in a, um, <laughs> I'm seeing you like in an airport, and um, I'm hearing accumulation here at the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands of Pride. So you in an airport and you're like carrying this, this luggage with you. Uh, <laughs> and, um, like through the, uh, the, um, the, I'm hearing the terminal, okay, whatever that may mean in particular for you, uh, be it literal, be it figurative, so on and so forth, but um, I'm seeing you like all of a sudden, you're just, you just stop and, and you, you bring your, your, uh, your um, luggage to a halt, so to speak, and um, there's this moment of, of questioning exactly what it is that um, has been, uh, uh, considered um, a value for you. I'm seeing it as like, again, I'm seeing you like sort of bringing your luggage to a halt and it's like you look back at your things and you're like, hold on a second, what is actually in this luggage? Uh, what is it that I have been um, bringing uh, with me, I'm hearing everywhere that I go, whatever that may mean in particular for you, and I'm seeing someone who, let's say, has been traveling a lot, um, let's say moving from one location to the next, from one city to the next, uh, there is this feeling of of almost um, the desire to, to regain a sense of uh, balance with what holds um, a place uh, for you in, in a physical way. I'm seeing also in, in, a, in a material financial way, and there could be a focus on the physical dimension. The emperor here, right over the nine of wands, uh, there's a, hearing a major change of foot, the seven of swords at the right, right beneath the four of cups. This is something that you've been preparing for, and there may be a number of individuals involved here, Pisces, the five of pentacles, right beneath the emperor. Okay, the ace of swords and the six of pentacles in reverse. There's a decision that has been needed to have been made. Um, as it pertains to what exactly will culminate, what will surface in a public way um, of the decisions that you make. And there may be a focus on matters of finances, matters of, um, again, it's like the physical habitat, the environment, translocation I'm hearing as well, but uh, there being a focus on what actually uh, moves forward and, um, and how I'm hearing specifically how. Now let us um, pull a cut across for you, dear Pisces, and see what comes through here for this month of September. Okay, and um, if you would like to get notified of when the videos post uh, live, feel free to follow um, the Twitter account, if you'd like to follow via Twitter, rather. Um, this Mother of Cups Upright, the Hanged Man in Reverse, the Strength card upright, the card of Leo in the Major Arcana, and your very own card, Pisces, in the Major Arcana, the Hanged Man. There's um, a process of, of I'm hearing, uh, awakening to your greatest assets, I'm hearing, in power. And there's a focus on the very nucleus, I'm hearing, the source of that uh, mission, I'm hearing, translocation here for you, um, dress, I'm hearing headdress, dress up, whatever that may mean in particular for you, of course, general reading, right, so it may resonate differently for everyone. Um, I'm hearing meandering through, three of pentacles, the mother of swords, there is a 
journey uh, that you're taking, Pisces, and it may speak to um, uh, the physical dimension yet again, the Five of Wands coming through right over the Six of Cups and the Mother of Pentacles. Um, but Pisces, yet again, if you'd like to get notified of when the readings go live, feel free to follow via the uh, Twitter handle Alchemy and You, and the link is in the bio description box below. Um, nonetheless, I'm not going to mention that here. Okay, Mother of Wands, mirroring the Mother of Swords, the Nine of Cups, right over the Six of Swords in reverse. The star mirroring the Six of Swords. Um, I'm hearing making room for the uh, the um, the storyline to continue itself through the Temperance card here. There's been a long um, journey that has been awaited, Pisces, and I'm seeing it as being related to a vision. I'm seeing it as like almost like I've been wrapped up in this blanket, waiting uh, for uh, I'm hearing Father Time to tell its tale, whatever that may mean in particular for you. And there's been a a long, again, a long cycle, a long journey. Eight of Pentacles again coming through Pisces. A whole lot of work, my goodness. A whole lot of, um, uh, um, I'm hearing storytelling, and it's almost like I feel like I've been moving from, from one uh, room of the story to the next. It's like I feel like I'm living through the movie scene. Um, uh, one, um, I'm hearing... Uh, uh, bolder at a time, whatever that may be in particular for you, I'm getting related to this Wheel of Fortune that has popped out right over the Mother of Pentacles, right over the Tower in reverse. Um, there is, though, at the end of the day, Pisces, a sense of release, and I'm seeing you, like, sighing, like, oh, it's like, okay, I now, in a certain way, recognize, um, what exactly I have been moving through, even in an esoteric way, I'm hearing in a philosophical way, you have a number of major arcana at Pisces that you um, lead into and out of the month with, judgment upright, um, mirroring here the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, um, okay, mirroring as well, the Moon in reverse, the Sun of Wands in reverse, I'm hearing that you may be waiting on another individual to take on um, action uh, in in. in in, in, in a way that speaks to the publicity of your work, okay, and there may be a focus on presentation in some kind of way, public presentation in some kind of way, um, but I'm getting as well, Pisces, that um, you recognize the importance of how you um, move into this new beginning uh, seamlessly. I'm getting, as it relates to and pertains to the translation of your vision and your also your, um, your uh, expectation that is based on an energetic level for what it is that you are moving into. Um, let us try to get a Celtic cross out to your Pisces and see what comes through here. I hope you all have been well, enjoying this woman in your very own sign, dear Pisces. I'm filming this on the 27th of the month. Um, so just sort of trailing out of the full moon in your very own sign. Wherever it is you have Pisces in your very own chart, there could be a focus on sense of culmination. Um, I'm hearing rest, resting, resting spot as well uh, right here. And this came through in your, uh, it was your... Your, your Pisces, Pisces. It was your uh, full moon in Pisces reading uh, that there was a focus on. Um, I'm hearing practice right as I pull the Two of Pentacles right over the Sun of Pentacles. Okay, uh, Two of Pentacles is mirroring the Three of Cups. There's a focus, Pisces, Nine of Swords here. Okay, splitting the Sun of Swords. A whole lot of uh, Swords cards. Let's, let's uh, read through them. The Nine of Swords coming through. The Sun of Swords. Mirroring the Emperor, the card of Aries and the Major Arcana, right over the Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Father of Swords, mirroring the Nine of Swords. You may have been dealing with an air sign. I'm hearing an earth sign, though, as well. There may have been a focus on strategy, contractual work. There may, may have been a whole lot of communication, um, discussion around what would uh, be considered, I'm hearing, an asset that you would be taking home with you, whatever that may mean in particular for you. Um, but uh, yet again, uh, Pisces. Um, there is this, this focus as I'm getting it on, I'm hearing the temperature of your, um, your, your, uh, your, um, 
conversation. And out pops here the devil. You may have been dealing with a Capricorn as well. The Ten of Swords of Bright. A whole lot of conversation here. I'm hearing relax. Um, relax. I'm hearing relax. Don't do it. Da -na 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 -na. Relax. <laughs> if those are the lyrics, <laughs> please feel free to comment um, if you uh, know the rest of the lyrics of that song. Dear Pisces, the Six of Cups coming through upright, right over the sun in reverse. The Ten of Wands in reverse, mirroring the Six of Cups upright. The Magician upright, mirroring the sun in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles again coming through Pisces. The Mother of Wands in reverse. The Father of Pentacles in reverse. And the Justice card in reverse. You may be dealing with an individual with, let's say, Libra and Capricorn. Um, I'm hearing Pisces here as well. I'm hearing Scorpio strongly with the Mother of Wands and the Father of Pentacles. Um, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Maybe you're very energy Pisces. And right, we've all got every sign in our chart just in sort of varying propensities. Um, so however it is that it does resonate with you in particular, um, feel free to take it in that way. But there's a focus on, um, I'm hearing connections, I'm hearing the connection. Uh, what feels to be like also a uh, starting point for the merging of personalities, I'm hearing specifically here between the Father of Pentacles uh, and the Mother of Wands, um, perhaps that which is, let's say, also considered to be um, a storyline. I'm hearing the, uh, I'm hearing the project planning, I'm hearing management, manager, and that which is, let's say, the performance in and of itself that is dynamic. Um, if, let's say, you've been involved in um, a project or moving in a new direction with your work, there is a focus on how it is that uh, I'm hearing specifically you merge these two personalities and they may be your very own. It's like on one hand, I, I feel like I can um, uh, really, uh, I'm hearing trade, buy and sell, whatever that may mean in particular for you. I feel like I, I have got this knack for, I have business sense, whatever that may mean in particular for you, dear Pisces. On the, the same sort of, um, I'm hearing on the same token, okay, there's um, the, I'm hearing the relational aspect, I'm hearing vision, visionary ability that in a certain way is also just as important. I'm hearing is that which I um, actually, let's say, produce or create in a, in a financial way. I'm hearing in a physical way as well. Um, finance, I'm hearing financing. There is a certain emphasis that's laid on the action that is dynamic that's taken, Pisces. And um, it's interesting because you have this focus on um, what may feel to be like a point of synthesis. I'm hearing cohesion in a collaborative way. Um, I'm hearing, again, merging. Uh, there may be focus on a partnership. Pisces, let us try to get a Celtic cross out and see what comes through for you. Here, again, from the 1st to the 31st of the month of September. Okay, and... I'm hearing waiting, waiting, stories, storyline here at the Emperor. Um, they're maybe focused on a, on a certain chapter of experiences uh, related to the archetype of Aries, wherever it is that Aries sits in your very personal chart. I'm hearing fire, uh, fire, uh, uh, dragon, whatever that may mean in particular for you. Let us um, pull counts across Pisces. Back into split the deck in this way. Let us roll with it. Temperance coming through. There's a card of Sagittarius in the Major Arcana, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, right over the world in reverse, the Father of Cups in reverse, stuck like glue to the Father of Swords. Two Father cards here. Okay. Um, there's the Five of Swords upright, right beneath this Ace of Pentacles, the Mother of Cups upright, right over the Ace of Wands, right over the Ace of Swords. Again, this Mother of Wands coming through, right beneath the Ace of Swords. Okay. Um, the Moon sits up top the apex of your reading, horizontally laid. This is the card that is associated with Scorpio. I'm hearing Pisces, though, as well. Um, and again, Temperance here that mirrors this um, Six of uh, Pentacles. Um, Pisces. There's a focus on the um, contemplation of hearing specifically of your resources. It's like, what, what do I consider a resource? What is it that I consider um, uh, a, a uh, I'm hearing also a conversation piece. What is it that I feel is a topic that I wish to also shed light on? I'm hearing bring awareness to. Um, there may be a decision that is made uh, specifically contractually that is related sorry about that pisces all right let me <laughs> mute that um 
that um, comes um, that comes I'm hearing uh, to to surface I'm hearing to culminate as well and it may be related again to a decision a certain a certain decision that is made you've got three aces here Pisces the ace of wands the ace of swords and the ace of Pentacles um, it's a reflection I'm hearing of your um, of your work I'm hearing of your livelihood but at the same time um, of how it is that you see yourself getting your work done I'm getting it as being related to the um, uh, the, the emotional or expressive um, uh, form that you work through, okay, and whatever way that that may be for you in particular, Pisces. I want to get a cut across out here for you. Let's see if we can squeeze it in and um, move uh, move move forward here. Okay, I'm going to leave the moon. Oh, I'm going to actually. Um, I'm hearing release it, okay, whatever that may mean, and in particular for you, um, perhaps a long cycle, a long process, I'm hearing judgment, judgment of perhaps um, analyzing, making a decision, working with what has felt to be almost anomalous, the Ten of Wands, upright in the deep past, Pisces, the Sun of Swords, upright in the recent past, Eight of Swords in reverse in the current state, Three of Cups in reverse in your advice, the Sun of Pentacles upright in your near future, the Two of Pentacles upright in your hopes and your fears. The Nine of Swords in reverse in your final outcome. The Hanged Man horizontally laid in your energetic pathway that leads you into the current state. There's a focus, though, on this uh, Son of Swords in the recent past position as well as I'm getting at the Death card upright in your environment. The Nine of Wands upright in the energetic pathway that leads you into this Nine of Swords in reverse. You have then the Five of Wands in reverse right over horizontal, diagonal to the Nine of Swords in reverse. In your theme, Pisces, you've got the Mother of Cups upright, motioning over to the Hanged Man to the Death card. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. There may be a Scorpio who comes through um, the environment. I'm hearing the work front, workplace. Um, there may be a focus on uh, their role, okay, that's played um, in a physical way. I'm hearing in a financial way and, and also in a, in a um, professional way. And they, um, as I'm getting it, um, have an idea in mind for how it is that certain experiences are to be um, uh, moved through um, in, in, in a practical way. Take it as you will. I'm sort of feeling bidding is like there's someone who uh, you may be working with. Um, I'm hearing tango, tango, the tango. Um, uh, in the in the workplace and maybe you're going on energy Pisces and if that is so the feeling that I'm getting is that uh, there are conversations happening um, on um, on so many levels okay and I'm seeing it as like happening let's say on an energetic level happening on a spiritual level happening on an emotional level as well um, and uh, at the same time referencing matters that are I'm hearing I'm hearing blood work uh, 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 bones, I'm hearing teeth, um, I'm getting there being a focus on the physicality to what is um, uh, being uh, otherwise or, or has uh, been uh, referenced uh, on an energetic level, in an energetic way, on an emotional level. And there could be a focus I'm hearing on financing, financing the visit, uh, the Son of Pentacles and the Death card, okay. Um, there's a focus though, Pisces, on um, why I'm hearing here with the Two of Pentacles, what exactly you um, feel is uh, ref reflective of your sense of self, whatever that may mean in particular for you. And it may be um, a process that is ongoing. And it's like, well, what is it that I feel in a certain way um, connected to? I'm hearing uh, relatable by, and there could be a focus on um, the, uh, the sort of conversation piece that surrounds that uh, that period of contemplation for you. What is it that I feel um, is uh, relevant for me professionally, physically as well? How is it that I feel uh, I, I want to represent myself? And um, you have a focus on cycles, Pisces, that have led to this point of uh, almost like release. I'm hearing releasing, releasing, um, and... and uh, uh, re, um, reigniting a certain um, uh, space that lives, um, uh, I'm hearing, uh, within you, whatever that may mean in particular for you, that is 
not related to um, the actual conversations that are had, not related to how it is that you uh, f uh, physically express yourself, uh, that are not related to necessarily what you, let's say, are involved in um, uh, professionally as well. And there is um, a decision I'm hearing, a decision that is to be made related to the Nine of Wands and the Hanged Man uh, that leads you to um, absolute uh, confirmation of what has been a reflective point for you of your passion and what is um, <clears throat> and has been in a certain way uh, confounding, confusing. And it's almost like I'm seeing you like setting apart the pieces. And again, it's like I'm seeing you in this terminal and um, you've got this luggage and, and you sort of, again, you set it, you just set it to rest and um, uh, decide, is this something that I want to bring with me? And what exactly is is this? And what is um, what is it that I am uh, representing uh, in this moment through this period of time in my life that I want to account for? I'm hearing specifically that could be a focus as well on con contractual work legality. Dear Pisces, thank you so much for tuning in. Loving the light to hear. Enjoy this month of September. And thank you so much, all of you, for your dear patience and support again with these readings. I appreciate that. It's been, again, been absolutely crazy. Um, so thank you again for connecting. And um, I'm hearing revisiting the path, the past here with the hanged man, whatever that may mean in particular for you. Uh, there could be a focus on um, a cycle. Nonetheless, uh, Pisces, uh, the mid-August readings are now available and you can check them out via the link in the bio description box below. Feel free to click through there and the, the protocol will be the same as the last few months have been for the mid-month readings. And thank you all so much for your support with these readings. Love and light to you all here and I highly recommend as well to check out your rising ascendant or moon sign. So you may find there's further insights there for you and your situation. Uh, if you're watching specifically for matters related to finances, I'm hearing specifically, then you may want to check out your Venus sign uh, as well. Nonetheless, thank you so much again for tuning in Pisces and I'll see you soon. Bye.